Right, today kids, we're building a frame for um, cushion seating in the camper van. And I've seen this done in caravans and they use really thin wood. They're scary thin actually. They use probably sections like that, which is probably 25mm by 15mm. Very, very light. You would think it would deflect and bend, but using plywood sandwiched together with it makes it incredibly strong but very light, which is just what you want. But I've chickened out. I've gone for quite a big section. It's 25mm uh, by 35mm, which is amply strong. And even though this looks very flexible at the moment, once you've got the sides, plywood sides sandwiched on, or contiboard, whatever you use, it's going to be immensely strong. So all you do is basically measure up for your cushions, slap a bit of glue on. I'm using, it's like a Yoohoo glue, just wicks, weatherproof wood adhesive, it's very cheap. That's got quickly, just a bit of that on. And run it up. I mean, all you joiners out there that are watching this are probably in tears right now, but um, it looks a bit of a bodge, but it will do the job. And it's nice and cheap, which is the main thing. Because I've pre drilled this with the drill bit to, uh, to, to make it easier for the screw to go through. Give it a last little nip so it's below the surface. Here we are, basically in our frame. Obviously, the glue's got to go off. But there is my frame. And now what I'm going to do is put the other bit on. This is actually the top section. And this bit will leave the bottom eventually. And there is a slight projection here, so it's wider at the base than it is at the top. And the reason for that is that I'm going to have to sink part of the work surface or, or the, the, the top of the uh, cushion base slightly, about four inches, so that the cushions can sit behind. So the back of the cushions will slot behind because they're quite high cushions. Unfortunately, they're not the right ones really for the van. So I'm making a slight um, surgical for them, if you like. But also, by doing that, I can actually make a hidden. Uh, a little cubby hole at the back which would be quite useful so it's a, just a hidden storage area about six inches wide by about 400 deep so that's the reason for that so this basically is the bottom and once this is glued and screwed on i will then put the sides on which are conti board to finish it off obviously there'll be a middle section to strengthen the middle and then the top which is the other way around where the cushion sits on will be plywood nine mil plywood which will just slot on top the conti board will be slightly higher by 9mm all around to give a rim and then the glide will just sit inside that on this wood here. And once we've got some sections in the middle um, and that's all glued and, and screwed on, that will be immensely strong and still very light. So I'll take some more video a bit later on and I'll progress it a bit further. <laughs> 